My learning target is I can classify triangles as equilateral, isosceles, scalene, acute, right, and obtuse. So we will classify triangles by their angles and also by their side lengths. So an equilateral triangle has equal sides and equal angles. So these markings right here show that the sides are equal because they all have one tick mark. And then these markings right here have one little half circle that shows that those all three of those are congruent. They're equal. Isosceles triangles have two equal sides and two equal angles. So these two sides these two sides are congruent, equal, and these two angles are equal or congruent. A scalene triangle has no equal sides and no equal angles. So as you can see, So as you can see, these are all different. They have all different amount of tick marks. That means all the sides are different. And then we have all the angles are different. Oops, I meant for that to be a different color. Okay, then we have acute triangles. Acute triangles, I like to think acute is cute and little, means all angles are less than 90 degrees. So the measurement of the angles is less than 90 degrees. Then you have a right triangle, which has one right 90 degree angle. That's this one right here. These are all less than 90. All right, and then we have obtuse. which is it has one angle greater than 90 degrees. So at least one angle greater than 90. So now we're gonna classify these triangles. So I look at this triangle and I see that these are congruent, they're equal, so I have two equal sides, and I have a right angle, that's what that symbol means. So if I have two equal sides and I'm, I am an isosceles triangle, and then if I have one right angle, then I am a right triangle. All right, this one I have all different side lengths. So I am going to be a scalene triangle. And then it looks like I have one angle that is greater than 90. So that means I am obtuse.
And you actually can check if it's greater than 90 by taking your piece of paper and lining it up. Your piece of paper has a 90 degree angle in the corner. So if it's bigger than that, then it's greater than 90 degrees. So that's just kind of a little trick um, I learned. Um, same thing with a Q. If you um, line up for like number three, if you line up a piece of paper with one of those angles and you can't see the angle anymore um, and it doesn't exactly line up, then it's less than 90. So for number three, we have all equal sides. So we are equal lateral. And then it looks like all my angles are um, acute, less than 90. All right, number four, we have all different angles, which also means my sides are all going to be different. And then my angles are less than 90. So this is a scaling acute triangle. Number five, I have two sides that are equal, two angles that are equal, and one obtuse angle. So this is going to be isosceles obtuse. See these two that are the same. This one's a different, it's obtuse. And then six, I have all different sides. And I have that one right angle. So I'm a scalene. right triangle. I'm actually going to show you what like the edge of the piece of paper looks like. So I have this tool on my iPad that will automatically make it a square. So it will have that right angle. And we see right here how we still have the angle outside of that right angle here. So if it's greater, if I can still see it, then it is obtuse. If I go here... And I draw that right angle. I see that technically it's like covered up here. So if it's covered up and it's coming out right here, it's not exactly lined up with it, then I know it's less than 90. It's acute.